بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه أستعين وعليه أتوكل وإليه المصير In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful By him I take my strength And on him I rely to go forward And to him is my ultimate destiny Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Holy Quran بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا إكراه في الدين قد تبين الرشد من الغي فمن يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك بالعروة المثقى لا انفصام لها والله سميع عليم Let there be no compulsion in religion Truth has been made clear from error Whoever rejects false worship and believes in God has grasped a most trustworthy handhold that never breaks, and God hears and knows all things. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 256. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said in the Quran, <laughs> choice. 
On that note, I would like to emphasize on the great struggle that all of the Ansar of Imam Hussein had to go through before making their decision to join the epic journey of freedom and heroism in Ashura. Each Ansar had their own path that led them to Karbala. Each one, each one of them prepared his journey throughout his entire lifetime and ended it with the ultimate sacrifice of standing firm with the truth and rejecting humiliation and oppression. The concepts of freedom and tawbah, repentance, are two key components of the journey of one of these Ansar of Imam Hussain on the day of Ashura. That Ansar had a great internal struggle. That Ansar had a great internal struggle, struggle before joining Imam Hussein's forces. He had the opportunity of continuity with a great position in the army of the quote unquote winners party, the party of Yazid and Abayullah bin Ziyad. Yet, all throughout his ordeal, he kept questioning himself Am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Am I being true to myself? Imam Ali bin Abi Talib narrated once ليس منا من لم يحاسب نفسه كل يوم فإن عمل خيرا استزاده وإن عمل شرا استغفر الله He is not amongst us who does not hold himself accountable for all his actions every day. In case he had done a good deed, he would strive to increase from it. In case he had done a bad deed, he would strive to repent to Allah. The Ansar I am referring to, my dear brothers and sisters, is Al-Hur ibn Yazid al riyahi he was constantly questioning himself and holding himself accountable for his actions on the journey of Ashura. And this is a habit that we should all take as a regular one in our lives in order to always strive to improve ourselves towards the best of deeds. Let us remember that each Ansar had to go through this struggle. The Ansars were regular people like you, living their life in a time of oppression and decided to stand against injustice. You are, like, you are all like the Ansar. You can all stick to the famous saying, to live free or die. The freedom that Imam Hussein fought for results in us today knowing the truth and choosing to stand behind his principles. The freedom that the Ansar stood for was the true embodiment of the famous phrase, live free or die. Our Imam and the Ansar represented live free or die 1400 years ago. Dear brothers and sisters, we must remember that freedom is a name and a grace from Allah. In the country we live in and in the world we live, Alhamdulillah, freedom is given. Let us use it to raise awareness. Let us use it to serve the community. Let's use it to promote love and good. Let's use it to promote justice. Let's use it to stand for justice and support the oppressed. Support righteousness. Let's use it to support those who have been oppressed and to stand against oppression. Let's use it to promote the good and forbid the evil, just like our Imam and al hur and the Ansar did. Our Imam famously said during his plea with people on his journey to Karbala, إِنِّي لَمْ أَخْرُجْ أَشْرًا وَلَا بَطْرًا وَلَا فَاسِدًا وَلَا مُظْلِمًا وَإِنَّمَا خَرَجْتُ لِطَالَبِ الْإِصْلَاحِ فِي أُمَّةِ جَلْدِ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ I am certainly not rising to be exuberant, arrogant, a mischief monger, or an oppressor but I have done so in order to seek reform in the nation of my grandfather Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is the great sacrifice of our Imam and the great sacrifice of the Ansar of Imam Hussein. In the year 61 after Hijrah, Al-Hur ibn Yazid al Rayahi held a prominent position in the army of Kufa. He was a respected commander of the army. The treacherous Ubaidullah bin Ziyad has assigned al Prophet to keep a watchful eye on the Imam during his journey to Karbala. In the first days of Muharram, as the caravan of pride was moving to Karbala, al Prophet and his men kept following them all along. Numerous exchanges between al Prophet and Imam Hussein during this juncture led to believe that the general Umayyad population was not against Imam Hussein. Imam Hussein offered al Prophet to lead the congregated pra prayer but al hur denied and instead asked our Imam to leave prayer as the Imam for al hur and his soldiers. That shows the respect that al hur was holding for our beloved Imam. When al hur heard 
the speeches of Imam Hussein. He understood that Hussein was not here to rage a war. He started questioning the validity of the commands of Rabbeinullah. His constant struggle with his inner self starts, and he is perplexed with multiple questionings to himself. Having a few days of constant muhasaba of his nafs, al hurs pivotal moment of courage happens. He chooses to leave behind all prospects of leadership in the army of oppression and goes to our Imam in a humble way, eyes and hands bandaged. He humbly asks him for forgiveness for preventing our Imam access to go to Medina, for compelling them to stay at the land of Karbala, for blocking them access to water. Hurd said, I am giving myself the choice between heaven and hell. By Almighty, by Almighty, I choose nothing short of heaven. So much so that I do not mind if I were chopped into pieces and burned. When Hurd died, our, be our beloved Imam went to him and said, O oh, Hurd, you are a free man indeed, just as your mother named you. You are free both in this world and in the hereafter. Indeed, Hur was a free man. Peace be upon you, O Hur, as you were a free man the day you were born, as your mother named you. Peace be upon you, O Hur, as you exemplified the very meaning of a free man on the day you died, by, re by refusing the slavery of Yazid. And peace be upon you, O Hur, on your resurrection, on the day of judgment, as you deserve the very essence of freedom and remain consistent at the end of your life, and stood with our beloved Imam, and embodied his very words when he addressed the enemy on the day of Ashura, saying, O oh people, if you don't hold any religion and ethics, then at least be free men in your choices. I leave you with these noble words of freedom from, from our Imam, reminding you, inshallah, about freedom and tawbah. It's never too late. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.